So basically, uh, asthma is considered hereditary based on the new studies now. Uh, they say that uh, if your parents is asthmatic, then the siblings has a chance of two to three times of having an asthma as they grow up. But uh, they haven't found any any source or genetic focus, which is the source of the genetic the, the asthma asthma problem. So what they they, they, they concluded is that uh, it's more of a genetic disposition of the, the patient to, to develop asthma. It means that uh, patients who have asthma basically have a family history, but it's unlike other diseases that. Uh, wherein there's a specific genetic focus for it. So by genetics, they cannot determine what is the genetic uh, abnormality in the person having an asthma. Then the manifestation usually occurs uh, normally in childhood. Uh, they say that uh, patients with, with, with asthma tend to develop asthma when they are young. So it can develop even when you're 50 plus or when they're your older teens. Uh, the, the, the thing about it is that it depends on how, the, 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 how you get exposed to the triggering factors, especially if you're predisposed to have an asthma. Then there's uh, some, some simply simple stories about the people that uh, patients subsequently get cured with asthma. This happens because young people, uh, usually the children are actually develop, fully developed lungs actually comes up when they are seven years old. So during the asthma attack of between two to seven years old, the asthma is not well developed. But if the asthma is well controlled by that time, when they reach around 10 years, usually the asthma goes down and the, the asthma attacks actually get cured. That's the so-called history of asthma being cured. Thank you.